How you doing, Frank Valery here? I'm going to show you how to create a function app in the Azure portal. So we're inside in the Azure portal here, as you can see. I'm using Microsoft Learn Sandbox. Um, it's just handy, so that it doesn't cost anything um, to run anything. So if you want to use any labs, go to Microsoft Learn, and everything is there. So there's a few different ways you can start. We can just go up at the top here and click in here. You can see Azure Functions there. Um, we can click on Create a Resource here. Um, the list pops up, and there we see it's the fifth one down, Function App. Or you can type it up here. And you'll see it'll pop up there again. So we'll just click into it there. and hit on create and we got a few things then to fill out um, our subscription here is from Microsoft Learn so they just give us this one and um, normally you would probably have pay as you go inside here so the next step then is to create a resource group and these little things here on the end of them if you're unsure what they are you can just hover over and you'll see resource group is a collection of resources that share the same life cycle permissions and policies so which is very handy so just here we're going to drop down and we're going to use the existing one that microsoft learn has already created for us so the next one is you're going to give your app a name this has to be globally unique. Um, so I'm going to use the name of my blog, which is Azure Bytes. And as you can see, it's given us the go ahead there. It's all fine. So we're just going to leave it at code for this demonstration. You can always put the code into a Docker container, create a container um, for it. The run stack, we're just going to go with .NET Core, and it's given us version 3.1. So the region, as I am from Ireland, I'm going to pick Northern Europe. That's where I'm at. So. this one down the end right so we where we're going to host it so you click on the next tab and up it'll pop to here where our storage account Microsoft Learn has given us this one but if you're starting from scratch you create it because you need a general purpose storage account to store your code for the functions next one down is your operating system I'm going to go with the default which is Windows and the next then we've got our plan so it's got there's got three in here if you drop down you see the tree service app plan premium but we're just going to go with the consumption model for this demonstration and next one we're going on to monitoring so a couple of seconds you'll see it gives us this application insights it's kind of microsoft enables this one but it doesn't cost you anything if you're only just using small small version of it and um, if you go over it will tell you and notify you so the next one then is tags so these tags are if you're if you're losing a lot of different functions and you need to track them for cost purposes this is very handy you can just type in name them accordingly so we're just going to leave it blank for the demonstration next one is review and create so it's validating there up in the top and we're good to go if not, it would come up there and it would give you a line and say, this is wrong, uh, you need to correct this. So there's our storage account. 
or name or consumption northern europe so next thing is just to create and i'm just going to pause the video for now because this takes um three to four minutes sometimes so yeah that's deployed now and what we're going to do here is we're just going to go to our resource Okay, so we're inside here and you can see the matrix down here, functions. So we don't really have anything running yet, so it's not showing anything. So our URL up here in the top right hand corner, just we're just gonna copy that and go into the browser on top and we're just gonna paste that in here. And there we Got it, your function 3.0 app is up and running. That's very good. So we're just going to go back to the portal now. And what I'm actually going to do there is show you how to delete something just to clean it up. So as you can see there, you need to type in the name of your function before I let you delete it. So did I get something wrong? I did spell this. E T E S. Hmm. Okay. So like if you don't get the spelling right, it's not gonna leave you deleted. So um that was handy to see. So you just hit delete down here and you can see the deleting an operation. So that's how to create a function in the Azure portal. Thank you.